What's going on everybody? We've got another rapid disc review for you. Yeah, we're making two reviews in one day. So if you guys saw my disc mania drop video and you're wondering why I'm wearing the same outfit, it's because it's the same day, okay? I don't wear the same clothes two days in a row. Maybe pants, all right? Anyway, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Ocean Disc Sea Turtle. Now this disc is really cool, really special to me. I really am a big fan of recycled plastic. I love the Trash Panda Dune. It's been in my bag ever since I've gotten one. And as well as the inner core, I've got an ace with both the Dune and the inner core on my channel. So this disc right here is made out of 60% ocean waste, plastic from the ocean. That is just, I mean, that doesn't get any cooler. That is so cool. The plastic feels amazing. It doesn't feel like a, you know, a low quality plastic. This is their mid range called the Sea Turtle coming in at a 5501. Beautiful disc right here. Now this is in the Pacific plastic. They do have another recycled plastic that I know, uh, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Atlantic or something like that. And then they have a burst color, which is not made of recycled plastic. But this is their first mold that they came out with, the Sea Turtle. Uh, it's a, like I said, mid-range, straight mid-range. So we're gonna give it a shot against the Dune because it's also a straight mid-range for me. And I've also got the MVP Hex right here just in case it's a little bit more stable. It is a zero one, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit more stable probably than the Dune, but we had to bring the Dune out too to throw it. So we'll throw the sea turtle first, see how it's flying, and then we'll throw these two to compare. Nice straight push, and I mean, no turn out of that, almost immediately started to fade, but still started, still pushed. We do have a little bit of a tailwind left to right, so probably helped keep it a little bit stable. All right, next up, we're gonna throw the laundry lint purple dune, blurple dune, whatever you wanna call it. See if we can't get a similar shot shape on that. I will say I did throw these to warm up, and they all landed in like a 10 foot circle. So pretty cool there. We'll see how consistent we can be this time. Okay, that's, that's why that is my straight flying mid range. Cause I just throw it flat and it no turn, no fade, just pushes so straight. Um, I think that the sea turtle is probably gonna be a little bit more overstable than that. So that's why we brought up the hex. Pretty good rip from the hex there. Nice straight push. I think I threw the sea turtle on a little bit of hyzer. I've been working on my flat release. And uh, as you guys can see there, they're coming out pretty good when I get it right. Didn't get the best rip on the sea turtle, but we are going to hopefully try to get a better flatter release on it. We got a pretty good flat release on the hex and the dune. And you guys saw how those flew. This thing didn't go very far. Um, that overstability kicked in when I threw it on hyzer. So we're gonna see if we can throw it on flat, maybe a slight ante and see how, how it wants to push. Hopefully we can throw the sea turtle a little better here. Like I said, we're gonna try to throw it on flat through Anheuser here, see if we can do a better throw. We'll start out with it. Okay, that was flat. Little turn and a nice subtle fade. I will say for whatever reason, this disc doesn't seem to go far. Uh, I don't know what the disc, what the deal is with that. Probably just me, cause I'm a weak boy. We're gonna throw the dune though. Okay, put that on a little Anheuser. Put that on a little Anheuser, held it nice. That's why I love the Dune. It just, it's just so glidey and, oh, it has such a beautiful flight no matter what angle you put it on. I love that disc. We'll throw this Hex too. I think the Hex on a uh, flat line is probably gonna throw a little bit more like the Sea Turtle. I think the Dune's probably a little bit more understable, which is perfect for me because I'm thinking about bagging both the Sea Turtle and the Dune. I don't know. I like that they're different stabilities. The Sea Turtle is gonna be a little bit more stable, so I trust it a little bit more in these headwinds. Wow. That's a lot of turn from the Hex. I'm getting a good rip on that Hex for some reason. I don't know. I never really liked that Proton Hex. I just felt like it was always too overstable, but it's also been a while since I've thrown it. So maybe I'm just getting a touch back. Guys, if you throw any recycled discs, drop a comment down below and let me know what you throw. If you throw any Trash Panda or any maybe Discraft recycled or any any recycled discs, let me know what you throw down in the comments. I think recycled discs are gonna be kind of the way of the future here of disc golf. I don't think it's gonna be super sustainable if we don't use recycled plastic. So I really love what people are doing with these recycled plastic discs. Bringing it out of the ocean, using ocean waste as the plastic base is just so cool. Sure, it's cool to use old discs and recycle those into new discs, 
That's also very cool because it prevents those from going to the landfill. But this plastic has already been polluting the earth and affecting us in a negative way. So I think this is a great, great thing to have happen. We're gonna try to really throw these on Anheuser and see how it fights out. I did finally get a nice flat shot with the sea turtle, but it still didn't want to go very far. So we're gonna throw it out there on some Anheuser, see if we can't get it to push. There's, I don't know, this hex just goes so far compared to it. Maybe we throw the hex back in the bag. I don't know, what the hex? See if we can't get some distance with this sea turtle. There we go. We put it on some Anheuser. Had to slow my walk up down a little bit. Not a bad shot there, okay? One thing I've kind of been learning with myself and my form and being out of practice a little bit is when I came back to the sport, I kind of tried to rush things and, and throw fast and hard and because I couldn't push the distance that I used to, I think we're starting to get it back and all I really had to do was kind of slow down my walk up. Little, uh, little tip from Eric G there. So we'll throw the dune. Honestly, if I threw the dune flat, it would probably do that same, same flight path, but we'll throw this on Anheuser anyway. A little bit of Annie. Pretty much the same flight. I think it might have held the turn a little bit longer, maybe pushed a little bit further. Let's see how it compares to the hex. Not my best throw there. That was a little nose up. Still got some turn on it. We'll measure those well, those throws. I suspect it probably went about 300 feet. Maybe, maybe a little further with the dune. We'll see. Get this out of my shot. We're gonna throw these discs out there on a forehand. Not typically a throw I would do with a straight flying mid, but I know it is possible. I just suck at throwing forehands because usually I chop them over or something like that. But we'll try to keep them flat, see what the disc does. That's me. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Thanks. After these old guys get out of my way and stop throwing my disc. Yeah, we'll start out with the sea turtle, see how it does. Okay. Held up pretty good. That's actually, uh, that's actually like just like my approach discs that I just threw. We'll throw the uh, the hex now or the dune now. We're gonna throw the dune now. Yeah, and that's why I don't forehand the dune. I don't know why it's just not torque resistant. Like, uh, and it just um, bounced up off the tee pad over there and almost hit those old dudes. That's why I don't forehand the dune. Jeez, I almost killed somebody. Here we go. It's a public park, bro. All right, guys, gonna wrap it up for this one. Hope y'all enjoyed these two reviews that I did today. Hopefully we didn't get too mixed up there. Yeah, I had that old guy kind of yelling at me for, for that accidental roller. He, uh, yeah, he said a few words. I said a few words, is what it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to uh, end the video off there though. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, you know, mistakes happen. I'm not throwing at him, you know, obviously. I'm just using this course as basically an open field to throw the discs. He doesn't get it, you know, whatever. That's fine. Had an accidental roller kind of roll his way and he wanted to freak out. So it's what it is. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys go pick up a sea turtle. Do what's right for the environment. Stop throwing your trash on the ground. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.